Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss how long bacteria live on surfaces. Um, so the answer to this question may be a little disconcerting, um, but really bacteria have unlimited lifespans. Um, since they reproduce asexually, they just make clones of themselves. Um, it's one, kind of difficult to find out when one organism begins and the next one, or one, one ends and the next one begins, um, but it's also that they don't really have your standard life cycle or lifespan. Um, bacteria die when they start to encounter um, limits or problems in their environment. Um, if there's low nutrient levels, they die. Um, if they're exposed to too much UV light, um, this causes damage to them, they die. Um, if they are exposed to antibiotics, um, medicine or other uh, things that kill bacteria, that's obviously going to kill them. And also if they dry out to a point um, below 10% humidity, um, they dry out and they die as well. Um, so it's worth noting that your sponge in your kitchen is a great place to harbor bacteria because it's humid, so there's moisture which they need, and there's little scraps of food in there um, which give them plenty of nutrients to reproduce and, and continue on their way. So that's the short of it, is it really depends. Um, now bacteria can also create these things called endospores, which are sort of uh, life, life capsules. They're these hard casings. Um, it's not a reproductive method, it's simply a method of survival. Um, this allows them to last much longer when situations get rough. Um, this allows some to last uh, tens to hundreds, um, even thousands of years um, in sort of this dormant state. Anthrax can go ten to hundreds of years um, before it sort of wakes up and, and can wreak havoc again. So bacteria have huge range of uh, sort of time that they can live on surfaces and this has been a brief discussion of what those factors might be.